Now at a property at Madison's East Town Mall is for sale, plus a strike boat authorized at a lacrosse brewery. Your top stories are coming up. Plus, continuing coverage of the bridge collapse in Baltimore. This morning, work set to begin on clearing the debris field. And we did have a wet night. Uh, most of that rain now moving on to the east. We'll see if we don't see some sunshine later today. Coming up. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings. I'm Kyle Zorski. It is Saturday, March 30th. Singer-songwriter Tracy Chapman turned 60 today. Let's begin by taking a look outside this morning. Kelly Slipka is in for Jacob Montesano. For what the day ahead will be like. Good morning, Kelly. How are you doing? Uh, pretty good. You know, we uh, had a uh, kind of solid area of rain move through overnight, so the uh, ground is going to be damp if you're going to be doing any Easter egg hunts uh, today, tomorrow morning. Nothing falling from the sky, but obviously with, with all the rain we've had over the last week, we are expecting some muddy conditions. Still have some rain off to the east uh, over there toward Watertown, but you can see in Madison, uh, dry conditions right now. So uh, Watertown up toward Beaver Dam. Still seeing some of these rains kind of developing right now uh, off to the north and east of Madison. But these clouds will linger for most of today, but I think eventually... As we get in the late afternoon hours, we will see some sun appearing, especially areas to the west. 39 right now in La Crosse, 36 in Camp Douglas, so a chilly start to the morning, 36 in Madison, 40 currently in Monroe. So you can see some of the clearing taking place this morning from La Crosse down toward Prairie du Chien. Clouds linger here in Madison areas to the east. Uh, should be dry the rest of today. We'll get into some sunshine, but it might not be until we get into the later afternoon hours. Uh, maybe in the mid uh, 50s out to the west well i think we'll be in the lower 50s here in madison maybe upper 40s areas to the east quickly these clouds fill in tonight should remain dry though this evening if you're going to be headed out looks like we will see some warmer temperatures finally it looks like going into the later part of the week into next weekend uh, today we'll be in the low 50s pretty close to our average for this time of the year as we will see a northwest wind up there at about 10 to 15 miles per hour talk about our easter holiday see what uh, the forecast is for tomorrow we'll talk more about it coming up all right kelly thank you we'll check back in just a bit now on to our top stories this morning we begin in madison where space at the east town mall is now for sale as the city looks for housing solutions to take over what used to be the Boston store. It's been more than five years since the last customer walked through the doors of the mall's southwest, southeast side. And since then, the building and nearly 15 acres of land it sits on have sat unused. The city of Madison recently rezoned the area to allow for mixed-use developments to be built there. News 3 now has learned whoever buys the land could put more than 1,000 apartments on the property. The Teamsters Union at City Brewing Company in La Crosse has the option to go on strike in May if a new contract is not agreed upon. According to sources within the Teamsters Local 695, a two-day vote this week saw overwhelming support to authorize a strike. The union's contract with the brewery is up on May 8th, and according to the brewery, they are currently in the early stage of negotiating with the union on reaching a new deal before the current contract expires. To Rockford now, where friends and teammates are remembering the youngest victim in a string of deadly attacks Wednesday. 15-year-old Jenna Newcomb was killed defending her sister and friend from 22-year-old Christian Soto. Newcomb's last action before her death were brave and heroic, but her high school teammates say love and loyalty have been part of her identity since they first met her. We really cared for her, we really loved her, and I think that's just, it's really important that we continue to um, work hard for the wins that we have, um, even if they're really, really minimal. During the vigil, two of Newcomb's teammates left a signed softball to let her know they will never forget her. To continuing coverage of the bridge collapse in Baltimore, officials say it will be a long process to reopen the port to shipping. This morning, heavy equipment is arriving at, to, at the port to help remove the debris, which is inhibiting the recovery of some of the victims. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette reports from New York. Right here. Right here. Right here. A group of construction workers gathered in the memory of their co-workers, killed in the key bridge collapse. An immigrant advocacy group highlighted the sacrifices of all of them. The workers who work at nine and in the cold and throughout the pandemic, so our lives are made easier. Four workers remain missing, including father of three, Jose Lopez. 
His wife, Isabel Franco, spoke through an interpreter. I feel bad. Only God knows how hard my heart aches. Maybe he was desperate, trying to escape. The workers' bodies can't be recovered until debris is removed. The largest available crane on the East Coast is now in place at the port to help in the salvage operation, able to lift pieces weighing up to 1,000 tons. But first, engineers are devising the best ways to extract it all. I know right now everyone wants to see things moving. You need to know, you need to trust that behind the scenes it's moving. There's no timeline on when the port could reopen to ships. I want this done quickly. I want it done right. But... This is going to be a long road. President Biden will visit Baltimore next week to see the aftermath of the accident for himself. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. A total of seven floating cranes, nine barges and other vessels are also on the way to the port to help in clearing the debris. Well, it's not too late to if you haven't shopped for an Easter basket yet, but you can expect it to cost a lot more because cocoa prices are surging. It's estimated Americans will spend nearly $180 per person on Easter related items and gifts. That would bring the total spending on the holiday to $22.4 billion. And that's according to the National Retail Federation. They say last year saw an 11.6% rise in retail chocolate prices and say that's due to the soaring prices of coca, which is an obvious key ingredient for chocolate. U.S. taxpayers are leaving more than $1 billion just out there in refunds. The IRS says about 940,000 people haven't submitted tax returns for unclaimed refunds for the 2020 tax year. That breaks down to roughly $932 per refund. Due to the pandemic, taxpayers got a three-year extension, and they now have until May 17th to claim the refund for tax year 2020. Now, more local news. Verona police have arrested a 23-year-old Chicago man who they say scammed an elderly resident out of $30,000. And fortunately for the elderly person, officers were able to recover the money. They were tipped off to the fraud early, allowing them to do surveillance on the victim's home. They say in the afternoon hours of Thursday, a man arrived at to the home and left shortly later with an envelope. A traffic stop was conducted while officers met with the victim. They learned the woman had called a number from a pop-up ad on her computer, which connected her to the scammer who said he was an IRS agent. He's now facing a charge of theft by false representation, and we are not naming him as he is yet to be formally charged. While uh, according to the FBI, how that woman was scammed is actually quite common. Victims will get pop-up ads on electronic devices telling them to call. What they think is customer support leading them directly to the scammers. When a person calls that number, oftentimes they think they're calling a Microsoft, but it's not really Microsoft. It's somebody else that's going to either impersonate a uh, law enforcement official Wisconsinites were scammed out of more than $92 million last year, and that's according to the FBI Internet Crime Complaint Center. Improvements to one major roadway is set to begin next week near Wisconsin Dells and Portage. Preliminary work is scheduled to begin Monday to resurface I-9094 between the Mirror Lake Bridge in Wisconsin Dells and Wisconsin Highway 33 near Portage. The project is designed to repair concrete with patchwork, shoulder repair, and pavement markings. During construction, I-9094 will remain open to traffic with non-peak lane closures. Project completion is scheduled for early August. Our time now is 8.07. Still ahead, we take a look at some events taking place this weekend. Plus, how will the weather be for Easter? Well, Kelly will have that when we come back with our full forecast just ahead on weekend mornings. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. Backyard living season is here. Coolview has great solutions to beat the backyard blues and save 15 to 25%. Cover your deck with a screen porch, an enclosed porch, or sunroom. If you have a screen porch, let us turn it into an enclosed porch. Shade your patio with a pergola or awning. All on sale now. Let Coolview show you how to tame your backyard blues. Call now for a quote before the sun sets on savings. Get a new view from Coolview. A lot of law firms claim to be experts at handling injury cases that involve large trucks. But handling one trucking case does not make you an expert on the subject. Experience matters in these cases. One local firm has handled 25 trucking cases which resulted in payments over $1 million each, and hundreds of others as well. 
because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Are record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. You were always so dedicated. We worked hard to build up the shop, save for college and our retirement. But we got there thanks to our advisor and Vanguard. Now I see who all that hard work was for. It was always for you. Seeing you carry on our legacy, I'm so proud. At Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner, setting up the future for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. It wouldn't be April Fool's Day without Joe McHale. Guys, do you know why I give Jennifer those flowers? Why? We're getting married. Ah. Plus, I fooled some super fans. Hi, Brandon and Cody. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. And on the next Live at 4, we're taking a look at the hit movies from over the weekend. Will Loper returns with a look at the mashup between two titans as two of the biggest movie stars return to the big screen. On the next Live at 4. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. All right, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka out in the uh, patio this morning. The rain is done with, at least here in Madison, but a lot of puddles, a lot of mud with all the rain we've had over the last week here in southern areas of the state. We've got more rain coming our way later this weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up. But first of all, the uh, system that brought us the rain right now is just down to our south, and all the rain is uh, moving on to the east. We've got high pressure building in from the west. Already starting to see some clearing take place in western Wisconsin. Might be a little bit of a slow process in the eastern half of the state, but we should eventually see a little bit of sun as we go into the afternoon hours and going into our uh, nighttime. We should see a little bit of clearing uh, for tonight. All right, we are looking at low 50s today with a little bit of afternoon clearing. Showers return again tomorrow afternoon as our next system moves in and widespread rain expected Monday and Tuesday. We will definitely need some drying out and that looks like that will be in the cards. Uh, as we go into the middle later part of next week. Also seeing some uh, warmer temperatures by then as well. Meantime, uh, we are looking at uh, quiet conditions right now here in Madison. All the rain has moved on to the east, but here in Dane County, all the rain has left the county. We are seeing some of that rain over to the east in Dodge County. A little bit of clearing today. Then we've got more clouds that roll in tonight and tomorrow afternoon. We are expecting some more showers to spread through the area. This will be on the lighter side, so if you have any Easter egg hunts tomorrow morning, it looks like it'll be dry. But by the afternoon, can count on some showers to spread on through the area and widespread rains. Again, just kind of has a, a target on southern Wisconsin with pretty steady rains expected tomorrow night. That will continue right into a Monday. Uh, Monday night may see some snow mixing in, and we could be talking about some significant uh, accumulation of rain maybe a little bit of snow accumulation as well. Now, in the meantime, this morning, the clouds gradually departing from west to east, especially our western counties. Madison might take a little bit longer time. Temperatures near 50, while well, maybe in the mid 50s areas to the west going into the afternoon. Then the clouds quickly move in uh, later tonight. Uh, most of tomorrow should be dry. It won't be until the later afternoon hours. See some lighter showers starting to spread in, especially our southern counties. Then that will overtake most of southern Wisconsin going into the evening hours. Uh, see some moderate bands of some rain, especially across southern areas of the state. We could really use that a little further to the north. Eventually, some of that will be shifting to the north. And it might be cold enough that some of this uh, rain may mix with and change over to a little bit of snow, especially as you get toward La Crosse, Camp Douglas. Uh, by Monday afternoon, some of that even in the Madison area could change over to a little bit of snow as we go into a Monday night before everything starts to move on out. All right, for lacrosse, expecting a little bit more sunshine, mid 50s today, 52 tomorrow with the uh, clouds uh, thickening up. A chilly rain expected for Monday and Tuesday. Finally getting into some drier weather with some sunshine returning and maybe into the 60s, getting close to 70 by next weekend. So just kind of hang tight with the rain showers in Madison developing tomorrow 
seeing some rain showers mixing with some snow on Tuesday, some cool weather. Then we finally get into some spring like temperatures and drier weather. It looks like by the end of next week into the following weekend. All right, Kelly, thank you. We appreciate it. A new park is coming to Universal Orlando's resort. We are now seeing glimpses of some of Epic Universe Park's major features. It's currently under construction and set to open next year. The park will be composed of five worlds in total, including Celestial Park, the Isle from Burke from the How to Train Your Dragon universe, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic, and Super Nintendo World. Well, time now to take a look at what's happening this weekend. We have three things for you to do, and some of them don't even require you to get out of your car. First, let's sit back and relax and enjoy the lights along International Lane in Madison. Join the Dane County Regional Airport for the fifth annual Flight of Lights. They are proud to host an even bigger and brighter drive through light display featuring tributes to our first responders, tropical destinations, and Wisconsin sports. It is open to all and there is no charge to attend. Flight of Lights runs through April 7th. And with Easter just one day ahead, that means it's time for the Egg Stravaganza Spring Festival. Today's event will be held at Hometown Festival Park and is hosted by the Verona Area Chamber of Commerce and Verona Vision Care. Organizers say the Easter Bunny will be there along with an egg hunt, food trucks and other activities. And it's happening in just under an hour from 9 to noon. And La Crosse isn't missing out on Easter either. You can head out today to Myrick Park for the annual Lions Easter Egg Hunt, as well as the Doggy Easter Egg Hunt. Both are taking place at Myrick. The Lions event will take place beginning at 1230, while Wolfie's Egg Hunt will take place from 1 to 3. Well, still ahead here on Weekend Mornings, we take a look at Friday's news and sports. Plus, there are several new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Will Loper shares his picks and three things to watch when we return. Get a great deal and do a great deal of good when you shop at Habitat Restore. From furniture and decor to appliances and building materials, we've got everything you need for your next project. Shop our convenient East and West locations today. The Honda you want is here. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Civic. Which car and driver called fun to drive? There has never been a better time to drive in the moment with Honda. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Only at Vanguard, you're more than just an investor, you're an owner. That means your priorities are ours too. Our retirement tools and advice can help you leave a legacy for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. Need life insurance? Select Quote found Jacob, 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And Select Quote found his wife, Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Select Quote, we shop, you save. Another serious crash out on I 43 today. <laughs> One call. That's all. After a serious truck accident, the results can be catastrophic. Never take on the insurance company alone. Call Gruber Law Offices today. Our dedicated and proven team is here to help. And there's never a fee until we win. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. It's replacement window season. Do you have ugly, hard to open, drafty windows? Now is the best time to buy new champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get two free. Buy two champion windows, get, get two, two free. free. I guess that means if you buy four, you get, you get four, four free. free. Buy six, get, get six free. free. Buy ten, get, get ten, ten free. free. Hurry, champions buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. Great job, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. I was looking for some of the best anti-aging ingredients. And the great news, they're in here. Revitalift Triple Power Moisturizer with Pro-Retinol, Vitamin C, and Hyaluronic Acid. In just one week, it visibly reduces wrinkles, firms, and brightens skin. Revitalift Triple Power by L'Oreal Paris. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Experience the Channel 3000 news app today. 
Enjoy a website-like layout and swipe through articles without returning to the home screen. Download the Channel 3000 News app, powered by News 3 Now. And welcome back. Even if the rain made them wait an extra day, Friday was still an opening day to remember for the Brewers. The crew gave us a little bit of everything, including the debut of Phenom Jackson Turrio, the youngest player in the majors right now. The crew was trailing 1-0 in the fourth, but then Christian Yelich showed us he's already in mid-season form, went 3-4 for four in the season opener, including this solo shot. Tying things up at one each, but the pitching was the story of the day. Freddy Peralta got his first opening day start and tossed the gem, striking out eight batters in six innings. The crew combined to allow just one hit in the entire game. And then Jackson Churio, look at this. But the final touches on his debut, he'd already made some defensive gems and got his first MLB hit and then drove in this run to give the Brewers an opening day win of three to one. Now to the softball diamond where Wisconsin hosted Nebraska in their home opener Friday. Badgers down one in the second inning with two in scoring position and Ava Kuzak comes to in clutch, splits the gap with a double, and Wisconsin takes the 4-3 lead. But then in the fifth, talk about a high-scoring affair. Game is tied at seven, and Samantha Bland for the Huskers changes that. In one swing of the bat with this solo shot, Nebraska would win it. 11-7 is your final there. From the worst team in the Big Ten last year to the NCAA tournament this year, Mike Hastings has turned his program around in the snap of his fingers. And now they go for it all with only four wins in between them and a national championship. Game was tied a goal apiece in the second period when Joel Pudelachuk's first try deflected, but he gets the rebound and sneaks it past the goalie. Watch this one again. His third goal of the year couldn't come at a bigger time. Bucky would go up 2-1, and this game would need overtime. And just as Wisconsin kills Quin Quinnipiac's power play, they go the length of the ice in a matter of seconds, ending Wisconsin's season a heartbreaker, but so much to be proud of in Mike Hastings' first season. 3-2 is your final there. And to the dance where Shaka Smart's Marquette Golden Eagle saw their tournament run come to a close, losing to Cinderella NC State. An incredible season for Marquette. They hope to be right back in it again next year. And speaking of this Marquette squad, you can't forget about their coach, Shaka Smart. Armand Rahman caught up with a coach who shares just how much of an impact Shaka has had on the people around him. Many fans say the success of the Marquette Golden Eagles this NCAA tournament is due in large part to their coach, Shaka Smart, who got his start and made his mark on and off the court right here in Oregon. Shaka is that squirrely little sophomore point guard. Smart grew up in Oregon and played for the high school in 1995. Um, I don't know if I've ever had a player that loves a game as much as he does. His coach was Kevin Bavery, who now coaches the Middleton boys basketball team. Well, I mean, he was a cocky kid in a good way, which is what you want in your players. But, um, <clears throat> you know, he's, he was a consummate teammate. Uh, he's that point guard that truly was a pass first, uh, score second kind of guy. So, you know, people love to play with him. Bavery says people didn't just love to play with Smart, they loved to be around him. We spent a lot of time in our home and a lot of time eating meals and shooting hoops out in our driveway with, you know, my kids who were younger than him. He says that shows how much Shaka cares about the culture of his team from his time at Virginia College. Commonwealth to Texas and back to Wisconsin. I've never been to a college practice before where players walk in and hug their coach. Off the court, Smart fought to keep Oregon High School a safe place for all after experiencing prejudice himself. To have a young man go and speak in front of the entire staff at a staff meeting, it's a pretty impressive thing to do. He went in as a young man saying, this is, here's, here are things that are not, that need to be fixed here and not just here, but everywhere. <laughs> Dominance at Hawk Landing in Verona, you would be surprised Friday to find Golden Eagles and Badger fans glued to screens together. We're one big team, one big Wisconsin team. He's both two. He's three weeks old, he's still figuring it out. That's the same culture Bavery says Shaka would be proud of. His heart, he wears it on his sleeve, and again, what you see is what you get, but that is Shaka smart through and through. Reporting in Verona, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. A nice get-me-up story on your Saturday morning. Here's Kelly now with a, another check of your forecast. 
Yeah, pretty uh, wet night uh, across most of southern Wisconsin. You go north of the Dells, not much rain, but uh, once again, the uh, southern areas uh, did see some pretty good totals. An uh, inch and a half in southern and southwestern parts of Dane County. Downtown about a half of an inch, while about a quarter of an inch on the northeast side in Dane County. So some of the heavier rains falling on the uh, south side down toward Monroe. Right now, the uh, rain is just about done. We're still seeing some showers there in Dodge County moving away from southern Wisconsin. So we're just about done with this rain, yet still seeing that rain there in Watertown up through a Beaver Dam. All right, the uh, clouds persist this morning, but we are starting to see some clearing off to the west along the Mississippi River. I think we'll see a little bit of sunshine later this afternoon as we get in the low 50s, maybe in the mid 50s where they see more sunshine to the west. Clouds will quickly move back in this evening as temperatures cool off. And we've got more rain chances in our seven day forecast, mainly uh, later Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, that'll continue into a Monday. Temperatures today in the upper 40s and low 50s, maybe in the mid 50s out to the west. All right, Kelly, thank you. There's no shortage of films and shows streaming right now. Our Will Loper shares his picks in this weekend's Three Things to Watch. That's him. He's the one I told you about. That had swagger. Yeah. It really did. Newly streaming on Netflix is the film The Beautiful Game. Vinny was a pro. He's been living in his car for months. He's lost. Bill Nye stars in the movie inspired by the real homeless World Cup about a team of football players who find second chances playing together. You represent the potential that sport has to build a better world. The Beautiful Game is streaming on Netflix now. You were terrific. Before we start, do you have insurance? What? Your coverage good? Like, you have dental? Oh, haha. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it, like, too far? About, like, 25 minutes, I'd say. Uh, I just slapped you. Are you all right? What? <laughs> Newly streaming on Amazon Prime Video is the film Roadhouse. So you like to fight. You ever win? No one ever wins a fight. Jake Gyllenhaal stars in the remake of the 1989 Patrick Swayze film as a man hired to be a bouncer at a Florida Keys bar. And, well, he ends up in a lot of fights. Tell me about this bouncer. Yeah, it's all nice, like he's Mr. Rogers or something, but then he'll haul off. <laughs> oh! Really interesting guy, overall. Roadhouse is streaming on Amazon Prime Video now. I was five years old when I discovered ballet. People think that it's not for boys. Man newly streaming on Disney Plus is the documentary Madu. He had so much raw talent that we are interested in at the school. He must be very proud. I'm very proud of him. The <laughs> film tells the story of a Nigerian boy who goes viral in a clip of him dancing and travels to a prestigious ballet school in England to train. Let me free. Do is streaming on Disney Plus now. I'll never let them down. Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for Weekend Mornings. And coming up next, a look at our top morning headlines, including the development opportunities at Madison's East Town Mall. Stick with us, this is Weekend Mornings. For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Qualified lessees can get this Equinox for $2.69 a month. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. You were always so dedicated. We worked hard to build up the shop, save for college and our retirement. But we got there thanks to our advisor and Vanguard. Now I see who all that hard work was for. It was always for you. Seeing you carry on our legacy, I'm so proud. At Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner, setting up the future for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. 
We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing at your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You can even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Have a great night and do something good. I started saying it because I was just so tired of all the bad news in the world. People are out there doing great things. I've experienced it. And believe me, it can change your day. Tell us about the good you see. Go to Channel 3000 or post it using the hashtag do something good. I'll share your stories on News 3 Now. Our community is full of wonderful giving people. Let's celebrate them together. Let's do something good. Now at 8.30, where you can take your belongings as you clean out your home this spring. The details are straight ahead. And a wet night, the rain moving on out this morning. We'll see if we see some sunshine later today coming up. Plus, some future development coming to Madison's East Town Mall. We'll talk about it and what it call include. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings on this new half hour. I'm Kop Zorski. It is Saturday, March 30th. Let's send it over to Kelly Sifka for a look at your Saturday forecast. Good morning, Kelly. Yeah, good morning. We uh, did have quite a bit of rain overnight. In fact, uh, many locations across the Madison area, anywhere between a quarter to as much as an inch of rain. Now most of that is uh, on to the east. This will see some of those showers there in Dodge County uh, near Watertown, but off to the west. Actually starting to see a little bit of a clearing in uh, southwestern Wisconsin, but right now rain free here in the uh, Madison area that should continue now uh, for the rest of the morning hours, but the ground is very saturated with all the rain we've had over the last week. So it will be pretty muddy if you're taking the dog out for a walk this morning. Uh, 36 in the Dells right now, 36 in Madison. So it is a chilly damp start to our morning. 39 in La Crosse starting to see some clearing down toward uh, Prairie du Chien this morning. And they will see a little bit more sunshine areas to the west. Might be a little bit of a slow process here in the uh, Madison area throughout the uh, day today, but I expect some of those clouds to break up this afternoon. Low 50s around here may hit the mid, maybe even some upper 50s off to the west where they will see a little bit more of that sunshine. Quickly, the clouds return later this evening, but it should be dry if you have any plans outdoors uh, tonight. Most of tomorrow should be dry as well, but we're going to really have to wait to get into some warmer weather until a week from now going into next weekend. Above average temperatures expected by then. Meantime, we'll look at temperatures in the 50s, uh, mid 50s later today with a little bit more sunshine toward La Crosse. Clouds will hang tough uh, throughout the morning hours into the early afternoon, but should see a little bit of sunshine later today as we climb in the low 50s. We'll talk more about that next system that'll bring us some rain and yes, even some snow coming away early next week. More on that coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. Now to our top stories this half hour. Spring is here, meaning summer is just around the corner. For the Madison Streets Division, that means expanding its drop-off hours as people begin their spring cleaning. The expanded hours for the South Point Road and Sycamore Avenue drop-off locations begin on Monday. Those two sites are op operating for very similarly to last year, with the only differences being in some of the fees that the people have to pay. If you are someone who pays the resource recovery special charge, uh, you do not need to bring in appliance fee stickers to drop off your appliances um, and electronics. This year there is also a special location opening at 121 East Olin Avenue. It will have different hours than the others and will close in December. Trace amounts of fentanyl have been found in the Chippewa Falls Senior High School. According to a letter from Principal Donna Goodman, a Ziploc bag containing a white powder was found in a woman's bathroom by custodians on Wednesday. 
An on-site school police officer ran tests on that substance, which came back positive for fentanyl. School staff checked security camera footage to further investigate the situation, and the police canine later searched the rest of the school and found nothing else of concern. And now to Rock County, where friends and teammates are remembering the youngest victim in a string of deadly attacks Wednesday. 15-year-old Jenna Newcomb was killed defending her sister and friend from 22-year-old Christian Soto. Newcomb's last actions before her death were brave and heroic, but her high school teammates say love and loyalty have been part of her identity since they first met her. We really cared for her, we really loved her, and I think that's just, it's really important that we continue to um, work hard for the wins that we have, um, even if they're really, really minimal. During the vigil Friday, two of Newcomb's teammates left a signed softball to let her know they will never forget her. It's been more than several years that retail space at Madison's East Town Mall have been sitting vacant. But as big box stores move out, the city hopes new housing can move in. News 3 Now is Braden Ross has the latest developments. Eastsiders probably remember this space in Madison as the old Boston store. But for the last few years, it's looked a lot more like a ghost town. But good news, this space is up for sale, and pretty soon this whole area could be dedicated to housing. Providing different dynamics within within this area can change what you know what you express, this kind of like ghost <laughs> area that is very empty. It's been more than five years since the last customer walked through those doors. Since then, the building and the nearly 15 acres of land it sits on have sat unused. We do see the potential of changing those big boxes, uh, expensive parking lots and disconnected street network into totally the opposite, something that it's more walkable. The city of Madison recently rezoned the area to allow for mixed use developments to be built there. The real estate agent for the old Boston store property told me today whoever buys the land could easily put more than a thousand apartments there, housing that Madison desperately needs. Angela Puerta is one of the lead urban planners on the city's northeast area plan, which includes the East Town Mall. This area uh, is unique in the sense that it's uh, in a great location for employment. Um, it's the second most diverse area in the city. Over the next decade, city planners will shape the future of development in Madison one area at a time, starting with the west and northeast sections. It embraces everything that you can imagine that a city does, transportation, housing, parks, economy, everything. The Northeast plan is still in the planning stages and Puerta says they want to hear from the people who actually live there throughout the process. We have our expertise as professional planners, but we are not on a day to day basis living in that area. We want to still hear from the community. There is a still time. Eastside residents, now is your chance to weigh in. If you want to give any feedback on this site or any others in the Northeast Plan, you can find all the information you need online at cityofmadison.com slash Northeast Plan. For now, reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. Braden, thank you. Across the world, Friday marked a grim anniversary for the Wall Street Journal as the paper commemorated the one-year anniversary of the detention of journalist Evan Gershkovich. Russia's main security service accuses him of trying to get state secrets a charge Gershkovich and his employer denied. The Wall Street Journal honored him Friday morning by intentionally leaving a large section of its front page blank to represent the missing work from him. Russia isn't just detaining American journalists, but also its own. A Moscow court ordered Russian journalist Antonia Faverskaya to remain in custody. She covered the trials of the late Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny. The country accuses her of producing what it calls extremist content for Navalny's foundation for fighting corruption. And she is one of several Russian journalists being targeted as part of a crackdown against dissent. A look at this week's news and health. Plus, here's a look at today's day in history. I've been with U.S. Cellular for years now, and I think I'm their biggest fan. So they asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers, like up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. So I said, if I'm going to be on TV, do you think I can get hair and makeup? And I even got a manicure, too. Introducing Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Exclusive offers just for our customers. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. <laughs> 
It's easier to manage my chemo side effects since the great supportive care came to see me. They're taking the time to listen and talk about options for feeling better. A grace, caring every step of the way. For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Qualified lessees can get this Equinox for $269 a month. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. These are just a few of the over half a million happy Audion Hearing Aid customers. They now live a better life because they hear better. And they hear better because they purchased a full pair of Audion Atom 2s for only $189. The Atom 2 is a tiny, nearly invisible, over-the-counter hearing aid. They've got unsurpassed sound quality and only $189 a pair. And so easy to order. Call Audion. 1-800-203-8967. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. 4imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint. Only at Vanguard, you're more than just an investor, you're an owner. That means your priorities are ours, too. Our retirement tools and advice can help you leave a legacy for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. Campaign 2024 is heating up in Battleground, Wisconsin, and News 3 Now is bringing you complete team coverage throughout this crucial election year. From the candidates to the issues that matter to you, the voters. Campaign 2024 on News 3 Now, moving forward. Monday at 10, a Madison property owner shocks tenants with a huge rent hike. Like a 20 to 40% total rent increase. See how residents are reacting and hoping to spark a change with a call for action. Monday on News 3 Now at 10. From damaging drought to catastrophic flooding and severe storms in every season, the News 3 Now First Warn Weather Team gives you a deeper understanding of Wisconsin's ever-changing weather with special reports that go beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. All right, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka looking at some uh, rain showers. We had the uh, steady rains overnight. Most of that is now moving on to the east. Still a few showers are in eastern parts of Dodge County moving away from the area, and so we should be dry the rest of today. Just going to be damp this morning. Uh, watch out for some of those puddles in the mud. Temperatures starting out in the 30s, 36 in Madison, 36 in the Dells, 38 in Lone Rock, and 39 in La Crosse. Starting to see a little bit of sunshine breaking through the uh, clouds off to the west. Uh, so our western counties you go up toward La Crosse, down toward Prairie du Chien and Platteville, expecting some sun uh, breaking through this morning. I think eventually that will reach the uh, Madison area, but probably not until the mid to late afternoon hours. We should be in the low 50s where they see a little bit more of that sunshine, a little bit warmer off to the west. Those clouds will quickly move back in as we go through the evening hours, but it should be dry. If you have any plans to be doing anything outdoors, expecting temperatures generally in the low to mid 50s this afternoon tonight. We're back in the mid 30s, just some clouds expected. We do have a chance of some showers later tomorrow. We'll track that for you coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. Hopefully the ground isn't too soaked for some of these events happening today. A look at how you can celebrate Easter a day early. An adult egg hunt is happening in Baraboo this afternoon at the Baraboo Bluff Winery. This year, the Bluff team will be offering two waves of egg hunting. The first wave will begin at 1 p.m. and the other to follow is at 3 and there is no cost to participate if you go out there. And time is running out to join your favorite farmers at the late winter Dane County Farmers Market. They happen Saturdays at Garver Feed Mill over on the east side. Including today, you have just two Saturdays left before the end of this season. And this is the perfect opportunity for you to do your weekly grocery shopping while supporting local farmers and makers. The final winter market will be on Saturday, April 6th. Well, next, there is an important warning about eye protection as the solar eclipse approaches and the impact too much salt is having on Americans. Michael George has a look at some of the week's top health stories. Americans from low-income backgrounds are eating too much salt, and it's leading to serious health problems. That's according to a study published in JAMA Network Open. It shows nearly 80% of black and white low-income Americans are consuming sodium levels above the recommended daily amount, which is linked to cardiovascular disease deaths. 
Use of the HPV vaccine has fallen way behind among parts of the U.S. population. The shot gives protection against cancer later in life. But a national health survey of more than 9,000 adults found over 84% had not yet been vaccinated. Some of the lowest rates were among men and people of Hispanic heritage. And these are scans from a person who watched the 2017 partial solar eclipse for 20 seconds without proper eye protection. Doctors say it burned a crescent shape into her retina, which she'll see is black for the rest of her life. With a total solar eclipse now just days away, ophthalmologists say it's critical to wear special purpose solar filter glasses labeled ISO 12312-2 compliant. Those are some of the week's top health stories. Michael George, CBS News, New York. And still ahead, Andrew will check in with Friday's news and sports. Plus, let's take a live look outside. Kelly will have another check of the forecast when we return on weekend mornings. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. You were always so dedicated. We worked hard to build up the shop, save for college and our retirement. But we got there thanks to our advisor and Vanguard. Now I see who all that hard work was for. It was always for you. Seeing you carry on our legacy, I'm so proud. At Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner, setting up the future for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. We often get asked, is it really free to hire Gruber Law Offices after an accident? The answer is very simple, yes. We don't get paid until we win your case. It costs you nothing up front to hire Gruber Law Offices. The call, the consultation, all free. You pay nothing until we win your case. It's just that simple. Call us today, Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. I'm craving something we're missing. The ceramides in CeraVe. CeraVe with three essential ceramides helps restore my natural barrier so I can lock in moisture and we can feel it long after. CeraVe moisturizers. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Super Wide Duct Tape. It's so wide, we built this race boat. It's super strong and takes a pounding. Yeehaw! Get Flex Super Wide Duct Tape. This week at hy V, get ham for the same price as in 2005. That's the same price as nearly 20 years ago. Just $1.49 a pound. Get Cook's Super Trim Ham Portions for just $1.49 a pound. That's right, just $1.49 a pound. Plus other great deals on everything you need for Easter. All week long, only at hy V. Meet Madison Magazine's Chef of the Year. Learn why Jamie Brown Sukasumi earns raves for her next-gen take on Southeast Asian cuisine. And visit a local farm that brings you closer to the food you eat. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. Madison Magazine presents The City Guide, your ultimate resource for Madison area adventures. With inside tips on where to eat, what to do, and places to see. Available now on area newsstands or online at madisonmagazine.com. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. All right, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka out on the uh, patio. It is a little chilly this morning, feeling kind of damp after the uh, rain we had overnight. Pretty solid area of rain hitting most of southern Wisconsin. Now we just have some clouds. Currently looking at the uh, capital, a north wind ushering in some cool temperatures this morning. Here's the storm system right now. It's down to our south. So most of the rain is in advance of it, and we should see some clearing. We are already starting to see some clearing across extreme western Wisconsin. We'll see a little bit of sunshine later today. Expecting low 50s here in uh, Madison may hit the mid 50s where they get a little bit more sunshine to the uh, west toward the Mississippi River. Another shot for some showers going into tomorrow afternoon. We could really use a break with all the rain we've had over the last week here in the extreme southern parts of the state. And it will be a chilly start to the week with uh, widespread rain expected by uh, Monday and Tuesday. All right, rainfall amounts. This has been kind of the ongoing situation. It's, the heaviest rains have been falling a little bit closer to the Illinois border. And this is the same case that we saw last night. Heaviest rains 
down across southern Dane County, uh, down toward New Glarus, picking up over an inch of rain. You go on the northeast side, up towards Sun Prairie, lesser amounts of rain, uh, generally about a quarter of an inch. Then you get north of the Dells where they really need the rain, not much. So kind of the same areas got uh, stuck with the rain overnight. Right now it is dry here in the uh, Dane County area, Madison area, seeing dry conditions. And it should remain dry the rest of today, but the uh, clouds will be breaking up. Our western counties, Grant Crawford, uh, Vernon, La Crosse County, seeing some of that sunshine uh, for the uh, late morning hours into the afternoon. Eventually some of that clearing will get uh, toward the Madison area, but probably not until later this afternoon. That will hold our, our temperatures in the lower 50s where they get a little bit more sunshine, maybe even the mid to upper 50s there in Grant County. Uh, te uh, the clouds will quickly increase this evening. It should be dry though if you have any plans uh, tonight. Through tomorrow morning, any Easter egg hunts other than the saturated ground really won't have to deal with any more showers until we get into tomorrow afternoon. They'll be lighter, mainly the southern counties again, at least tomorrow afternoon. Eventually, all that rain should gradually lift to the north. Really like to see this band a little bit further north than what we're expecting, at least for initially going into uh, Monday. And it's going to be a chilly rain at that, and it's not ending there. It looks like Monday, Monday night, more rain headed our way. Might be cold enough where they could expect a little bit of snow. Areas to the north, basically north of the Dells. Uh, some of that may actually change over to a little bit of snow Monday night before finally moving out of here by Tuesday. Well, we're talking about more heavy rain here in southern areas of the state. Some locations, when all is said and done, another inch to two inches of rain. North of the Dells, the amounts will be less, uh, where they could actually see a little bit of snow as we uh, go into a Monday. It looks like the uh, amounts will be light, but maybe an inch, maybe two inches up toward La Crosse and uh, Camp Douglas. Uh, for lacrosse today, a little bit more sunshine. Mid-50s expected this afternoon. 52 tomorrow with the uh, clouds persistent. Rain moves in Sunday night into Monday. And then we are looking at 60s return later next week. Kind of a wet uh, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night here in Madison. More rain, cool rain at that. Some of that may mix with a little bit of snow before ending Tuesday. Finally getting into some spring-like weather and dry weather toward the end of next week into the following weekend. All right, Kelly, thank you. Andrew checks in now with Friday's News and Sports. Even if the rain made them wait just an extra day, yesterday was opening day for the Brewers. And if you ask me, that should be a national holiday. Gave us a little bit of everything, including the debut of Phenom Jackson Chirillo, the youngest player in baseball, crew trailing 1-0 in the fourth. And Christian Yelich shows us he's already in midseason form. Yelly went three for four in the series, make that the season opener, including the solo shot tying it up at ones. But the pitching was the real story of the day. Freddie Peralta, he got his first opening day start and tossed a gem, striking out eight batters in six innings. The crew as a whole combined to allow just one hit in the game. And then Jackson Chirillo knocking in that game-winning run. The rookie making his debut, made some defensive gems, also got his first MLB hit in the game, and it would be enough to give the Brewers a 3-1 to one opening day win. Pivoting to the softball diamond where Wisconsin hosted Nebraska in their home opener. Badgers down one in the second inning. Two in scoring position and Ava Kuzak comes in clutch. Splits the gap with a double and Wisconsin takes the 4-3 to three lead. But then in the fifth, talk about a high scoring affair. Games tied at seven apiece and Samantha Bland from the Cornhuskers changes that in the swing of a bat. Solo shot for Nebraska and they win it 11-7 to seven is your final. From the worst team in the Big Ten last year to the NCAA tournament this year, Mike Hastings has taken Wisconsin men's hockey to a new level in the snap of his fingers. And now they go for it all. Four wins to a national championship. Game tied at a goal apiece in the second period. And Joe Palatichuk, first try deflected, but he gets the rebound and sneaks it past the tender. Watch this one again. His third goal of the year couldn't have come at a better moment. Bucky up. 2-1. It would be 2-2 by the time we needed overtime. And just as Wisconsin kills the Quinnipiac power play, they go the length of the ice. Scoring in a matter of seconds, they find the back of the net and end Wisconsin's season. A heartbreaker, but truly so much to be proud of if you're the Badgers. Great first season for Mike Hastings. 3-2 is the final. To the big dance where Shaka Smart's Marquette Golden Eagles saw their tournament run come to a close last night, losing to Cinderella NC State. An incredible season for Marquette, though, who will almost certainly be back. 
And the Wisconsin women's basketball team will be hosting St. Louis in the next round of the WNIT. That would be the great eight. A remarkable run for the Badger women who are cooking up something special for the future. And you remember Nigel Hayes Davis, right? Badger legend from those final four runs. He scored a whopping 50 points yesterday in the Euro League or the Professional European Basketball League. That sets a new single game record for the Euro League. An incredible achievement for the former Badger. And they could have used that a couple weeks ago. That's your morning sports fix. Have a stellar, stupendous Saturday. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at Lens Crafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. The value, A, awesome value, L, lots of value, U. Get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. Whoa, you need the experts. Right now at Felco, get free installation, plus no interest for five years. Call now. Call 866 for Felco. Whether the repair is a simple fuel tank cap, a more complex sensor, or anything else, rockauto.com has the parts you need. All the parts your car will ever need, Rock Auto. Alien tape is strong enough to hold this fishbowl on a moving car. Just peel and stick and make anything stay in place quick. A wooden shelf, a basket to glass, rugs to the floor, and so much more. Alien tape sticks to brick, pavers, marble, tile, plastic, even leather. Nothing works better. Alien tape secures in seconds, then twist, pull, and rinse to reuse. You're dying to try it. Here's your chance to buy it. Call 1-800-490-1347 or go to tryalientape.com. That's 1-800-490-1347. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry, RAV4, or Tundra Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Only at Vanguard, you're more than just an investor, you're an owner. That means your priorities are ours, too. Our retirement tools and advice can help you leave a legacy for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. This is your chance to save 65% on a year of getting fit and healthy with body. Stop beating yourself up with these fad diets and extreme workouts. I'm body super trainer Lacey Green, and I'm going to help you lose weight step by step with the one approach that you can use for the rest of your life. It's called Body, an app with over 120 workout programs, easy to follow nutrition plans, and my three week program called For Beginners Only. Sign up for a year and save 65%. Go to BODI.com. Mission Unstoppable, Saturday morning at 9. Finally this morning, Culver's is making a change to its bacon, but don't get upset. They say it should make your sandwiches and burgers even tastier. On Monday, the chain will begin serving a new smoky thick cut bacon. Culver says its menu development team tested different cuts to come up with a better tasting bacon strip. And we asked the manager, the assistant manager rather, of the Mineral Point Road location here in Madison, what makes this bacon burger uh, bacon better than what's been served before with them telling us this. You're going to notice a smoky flavor right away as soon as you bite into it here. On top of that, after you get a couple of bites in, you'll notice a little bit of sweetness too that you weren't quite expecting, but it pairs really nicely with whatever your favorite menu item is. On Monday, customers will be allowed to add two pieces of bacon to any sandwich free of charge. Kelly, that's a really nice looking burger they got there. Anyway, let's get one final check of the forecast. Making me hungry, yeah, this uh, Saturday morning and after all the rain we had last night, uh, finally drying out this morning and the clouds will be persistent this morning in Madison, including off to the west. Should get into some sunshine, low to mid 50s. The clouds will quickly increase uh, this evening. Should be dry. Temperatures falling back in the 30s. Most of tomorrow dry, but we can't rule out some showers developing in the afternoon, especially to the south and especially tomorrow night. Pretty solid area of rain expected. And we've got another shot of some cool air coming down. It looks like early next week. 
We'll really have to wait until later next week into next weekend, finally getting into some milder weather uh, later next weekend. All right, uh, La Crosse expecting more sunshine temperatures in the 50s. Uh, today we should see a little bit of sunshine in Madison later today, but some rain and then eventually some snow by Tuesday.